man. And one more shot, and then I'm down. Put it back. Alright, so we made it to camp. Started storming on us. We got hemmed up here. <laughs> so let's talk about this. Let's talk about being stubborn. <laughs> and that's basically what it boils down to. Another one. He's juicing it up. Juicing it up. See what you got, buddy. Think he can beat that jet up here. Alright, so Dale just dropped us off. And I'm going to go over here and take a look at this spring, and we're going to get underway. Oh yeah. Alright, there it is. So if you watch my uh, last Swanee video, this is um, where Corey did his dive off the little platform there. This is Royal Springs. And the Italian sky is. Yeah, beautiful. And we're going to put in here and we're going to paddle to the golf. It's about 100 miles. Yeah. Look at that. All right, so we're starting off at Royal Springs and we're headed to the golf. Stay tuned. This is going to be a good one. All right, so my current speed is around <clears throat> three to four miles an hour. And if I push it, I can I can get five. So that's what we're gonna average, probably about three miles an hour. And I, I checked the speed; just the river moving by itself was one mile an hour. So <laughs> and a long way to go. turtle <laughs> that's crazy huh. All right, looks like uh, Adams track two miles Troy Springs five Little River seven Bradford 11 Gulf of Mexico 87 miles I can't read the rest. Huh. Alright, let's get it. Alright, so there are these huge fish called sturgeon that jump out of the water here on the Swanee. And uh, every time I try to get one on camera, I can never get one. And I found one here when I was editing, so take a quick look at this. The crazy thing is, these things can actually hurt you and uh, knock you out of your boat if you're not paying attention. Alright, if you can look behind me, you will see there's no Chad. <laughs> there are two things Chad loves. One is fishing. And the other's beer. <laughs> um, our plan was to get down past uh, Brantford, probably get at least 20 or more miles in. And uh, Chad has fished the whole way, and uh, I've lost him. He's he's fishing. I don't know how we're gonna put in this mileage today. Um, you know, which we do. We do want to fish. We do want to catch some fish, but um, our plan was to. To fish more uh, as we got closer to the Gulf 
I think it's a lot better fishing. <laughs> but <laughs> the funny thing is, as I got the water on the boat, on my boat, I got the water. I think he has two waters on his, and he has the beer on his boat. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> stay tuned. I don't know where Chad's at, but uh, he'll have to catch up. I'm pretty sure I can see Chad. He's about a, about a, almost a half mile back. <laughs> uh, he must be getting hungry because he's paddling. Trying to make it up here to Adam's tract and we're going to sit down and have a little lunch. Plan out the rest of our paddle. Uh, yeah, he's down there. There we go, Shane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. So if you guys are looking for a cool river to paddle and to kayak camp, uh, the Swanee is the one. There's not much of a flow rate, but it is beautiful, it's full of history, and the springs are amazing. One of the coolest things to me is being able to just pull up off the river to these springs. Uh, just kayak right up in them and uh, being able to swim and snorkel around. It's pretty cool. Pull up over here. So here's what makes this trip awesome, is being able just to get down in those springs and uh, just search around, snorkel, check out the fish, check out the bottom, it's awesome down there. So we made it to Branford. It's about 3.30. You see that rain cloud right there? <laughs> it pretty much forced us to camp really quick. I 
All right, so we made it to camp. Started storming on us, and we got hemmed up here huh, across the river some, from some people. Not too good, but the only choice we had. Chad's got a fire going there. We're back here in the pouring rain, and uh, Chad builds this humongous fire. And right across the river were houses. And I didn't know if we should be there or not, so I got really nervous. <laughs> what are they going to do? Come and take us to jail? <laughs> so morning came pretty quick, and uh, we actually stayed pretty dry. So we got day two underway. Uh, we put in about, about 20, 25 miles yesterday. Got into a storm last night and ran up and set camp and made a little fire and went to bed. No funny bass, buddy. Hey, ah. Uh, <laughs> he did <laughs> He threw the hook right there. That sucks. At least I got to see him. There's a big old bass. Blew up right there. I mean, he blew up. Looks like Chad's about a mile behind me. <laughs> Probably not a mile, but at least a half a mile. He's fishing this whole way down. And he's got about four or five bass already. I got one, I missed about three or four. It'd be nice to have one right before we hit camp and we can throw them on the grill tonight. All right, let's press on. It's like we're going to be fighting a headwind all day today. Uh, the forecast calls for scattered thunderstorms and a little bit of rain and wind. <laughs> so, it's going to be a long day today. And if you notice, I am pedaling. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm pedaling and paddling, uh, taking a few turns back and forth. Um... I like this pedal drive because I can fish, and that's one thing we wanted to do on this trip is fish, uh, which we did get into some bass this morning, which is pretty cool. It's a lot easier to fish with this pedal drive, and I know uh, a lot of people would say, oh, you're making excuses, but right, so hey. looks like on the map, uh, that's the Santa Fe River right there that flows into the Suwannee, and uh, we're going to keep going on around. So we're at the Santa Fe River. It is so peaceful out here. I just had a uh, a beautiful butterfly fly in, and he's right there in the front of my dry bag. Can't see him right now. I mean, but <laughs> look at this. You want to relax and just get away. This is the place. All right, 
Alright everybody, this is Dot's house. And uh she lives on Dot Hill. <laughs> nice little house on the Swanee. Maybe Chad can get a bass off her dot. That's Dot's dock you're fishing right there. <laughs> you gonna fish it? It's a cool little spring. Yeah, that little mullet just cruising right there. <laughs> well, the cast net, we'd have a dinner tonight. <laughs> had one of those potato rolls. Got a bread ball on there. Oh, yeah. In a hurry. <laughs> People must think they're in America. A weekday sitting around listening to country music swimming in the spring. <laughs> ah, these are tough guys. Look at this. Uh oh, somebody's left behind. There's the slow guy right there. <laughs> Straggler right there. Ha! Yeah, that thing's set up for a long ride. They're probably coming from. Yeah. They're probably coming from the Gulf and headed down as far as they can go or something. <laughs> That's their moment, though. Oh well, no, I know what they're doing. They're having a good time. Uh, yeah. Down there. And it, like, me, like this is our moment. Dang, dang. That's their moment. Dude, we're getting into a little rain now. We're gonna keep on trucking until dark. See how far we make it. <laughs> I'd have to say this was probably my favorite campsite um, that we camped on the Suwannee. Um, it was open, it was nice and soft, and the trees were perfectly spread for my hammock. Well, for all those people, they had kayaks and stuff? Or just... Yeah. They all had touring kayaks and canoes.
Oh, be dang <laughs> All right, where you at? We're in a mess. Okay. Got my line caught in a tree. Ah. <laughs> Spiders all in this tree. Yeah, that one wasn't coming out. Probably would have been a lot easier to cut the line and retie. <laughs> but if this becomes a challenge. You want to get that bait out of that tree no matter what. Come on. Ah, oh, we got it. Barely. Oh, I hung in this one. <sighs> Spider on me. Oh, this is ridiculous. Ah, not good. Well, I'm not leaving here without my bait. I think we got it. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> Valuable lesson. Just cut the line, retie. Alright, so here's my fish. <laughs> Come on, man. Ah! Ah! Spider. Ah! Ah! <laughs> he was trying to go in my ear. <laughs> uh, I don't mind them, but... Every now and then they bite. That's no fun. Oh, ah, hook in the hand. It's an amateur hour. All right. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about being stubborn. <laughs> and that's basically what it boils down to. Uh, being prideful and stubborn. So I threw my bait in the tree and I knew if I went in there to get it it was going to be crazy and of course it was. I fought trees, spiders, my GoPro was all wrapped up in the, in the tree limbs um, and uh, <laughs> I would have just cut the line, retied uh, it would have been so much better. I would have been fishing. Probably already caught a fish by now. But now I, I had a, I got the thing out of the tree. And I ended up having to cut the line anyways. And um, so <laughs> here we are. All right. So I know got, some of you guys are probably thinking, what is he doing? He's uh, paddling <laughs> the river <laughs> rather than kayaking the river. So, um. What I'm doing here is in the morning <clears throat> I'll fish and I'll use this pedal drive and I'll paddle it probably about 10 miles and then I'll uh, or pedal it about 10 miles and then I'll grab the paddle and I'll paddle the other 10 miles. And um, one of the main reasons I'm not paddling the whole river, if you see that paddle there, it's not made for this boat. Um, and I do have a paddle that's made for this boat, but I let Chad use it because he's paddling the whole time <clears throat> And I, I didn't want to put him with that little paddle um, So I am paddling but it's no fun Paddling this thing with a short paddle <laughs> I told Chad it's like having a big engine with uh, no tread on the tires It's kind of spinning out <clears throat> but either way um, I feel like I'm self-propelled and I am doing the river um, either pedaling it or paddling it and it also gives me a chance to really try this thing out see what it's got you know if I could put 50 miles on this thing 
paddling it. Um, it's a pretty good thing here I got. <laughs> show you guys how windy this river is. I hear a boat back there. Um, so the river must come up and wind back around. Um, it's pretty crazy. It seems like it's almost even with me, the, what I'm hearing. Yeah, that boat is definitely behind me. Sounds like it's back that way. So the river must go up and come back around. Um, so that shows you, you know, it might be 10 miles down the road straight, but on this river, it could be 20 miles because you're going up, down, up, down. So pretty cool though. So this right here is where this boat excels. I got a pretty nice headwind and um, since I'm, I'm not paddling, I'm not catching that wind as much and I'm, the pedal drives down below so it cuts right through the wind pretty good. Uh, remember on the Choctahatchee I paddled against this right here all day long for some days and it, it wears you out. So. This is one one moment I'm I'm uh, lucky to have this pedal drive here. All right, so this is worth a little video. <laughs> they got this camper jacked up about six feet off the ground, maybe higher. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I wonder how they got it up there without tearing it apart. <laughs> wow, I gotta take a picture of this. <laughs> this is Alright guys, get ready, I hear something big behind me. There we go. Let's see what kind of weight this thing's got. I ain't buying it. things up a little bit nothing too big that little bay boat has just as big a wake as that big jet boat ha. yeah there we go don't rock the boat don't rock the boat fat boy Check this out. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> wow. That pontoon way on up. That house back in there. <laughs> this is really cool. Back out front. <laughs> wow. What I thought was a, a baby alligator is a snake that has hold of a frog. He's eating this frog. If I can get him on video. This is insane. <laughs> well, that's a frog making that noise. And if you can see, that's the snake there. And he's eating the frog. That. that snake is eating that frog. Ah, now nah, it looks like a water snake. 
I got him a meal. All right, so I've been waiting on Chad probably for almost an hour. I stopped at that uh, boat landing down there, and then I uh, stopped and played with this snake and frog for a little bit. And I still do not see him. And I know I took off a little earlier because he, he's a stronger paddler than I am, and he usually is way ahead of me. Um, but he was doing a little fishing and this wind I'm thinking he probably got caught in this wind and had a long day today paddling <laughs> I'm sure I'll hear it when he gets to camp But I don't want to press on I got got about 12 miles under my belt and I want to try to at least make it to Fanning Springs And I don't want to press on too far where he can't make it Um we have to camp separate camps tonight. So. Alright. I don't know. I don't see him down there. I'm going to wait a little longer and press on. Guys, I found Chad. <laughs> Here he comes two hours later. <laughs> oh man, wait till I razz him up when he comes in. Too bad he, he doesn't like being on film, so um, I try to keep him off as much as I can. But every now and then I can't help but put him on there. But right, here he comes. Notice here, I didn't set up the tarp. <laughs> I knew I should have put that dang tarp up last night. <clears throat> yeah, it's like I had my my tent was open, you know, my tree plus my doors black and wide open. And I just stick my hand out and like, no, no. <laughs> first I was just not even gonna put a stake out there. On it. Right. Then I dug in, I had to stuck it in. Yeah. That rain started coming down, and when I started getting wet, I jumped out of that hammock and got that that tarp, and that was a nightmare. <laughs> Good old Florida rain. All right, so we're about to go under 98. Yeah. 
Let me take a picture of this one. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Hold on. Two seconds, I swear, before that. I was huh. going to say, we're about ready to run into a big hoss. There you go. <laughs> and one more shot, and then I'm done. Put it back. <laughs> I don't get the, get the old up. All right, hang on. Uh oh, you got a slide on it, buddy. You got it, okay. Wait a minute, I got it all now. <laughs> Good stuff, baby. Spring State Park. It's Manatee Springs. Manatee Springs. <laughs> where it? Okay, is that where they you can swim? Yeah. Alright. This is Manatee Springs. <laughs> you can pick them strings. Yeah, that's cool. All right, guys, it's been an exciting time at Manatee Springs. I'm at Florida, man. <laughs> yeah, that's big money. Look at that. You ready? We gotta find a campsite. Alright, so we just came out of Manatee Springs. And uh, we spent way too much time there. Met some nice people. I met Florida man and uh, we have about an hour before dark and we need to press as hard as we can to find a campsite looking for a campsite and that will leave us about 18 miles tomorrow to make it to our destination.
that's one of those ones you run around like that and This is an old hammock swing right here, boy. Right off the hammock. You ready? You ready? Maybe not. Better get up on some higher knots there and launch that off that top, top root. There's one thing they say. Call me the bandit. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, you ready? You gonna go swing? Yeah. Well, well. Blah blah blah. That's what they say. Bandit style, right here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, you're lucky you didn't hurt yourself on that one. God, oh, man. <laughs> oh, someone set me up, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh, someone set me up. God, oh, man. That's brutal. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that thing is old as you. They call me the bandit. Hey. Just a nice swing. Oh, my goodness. Well, it actually wasn't a nice swing. There was really nothing to be gained from it. No, I could have swung on out. I, I felt it. Night four. We got <clears throat> some old fellas here trying to mess with us. But the cool thing is, <laughs> they're across the river. So they're going to have to swim over to get us. I can send a slingshot marble over, <laughs> but they might send a 22 shot back. <laughs> so we'll leave it at that. Why are they doing that, though? I don't know what they're doing. So these fellas are, are here with their lights right on us. Obviously, they don't think we should be here. They're sitting there talking. We can't figure out what they're saying. I'm going to send my head beam over there and see what we, we got. There we go. I got my head beam on. See if we can get any response. <clears throat> Yeah, we can see the kayaks right here. Uh-oh, I think we might have spooked them. This is a head beam war. Weird. <laughs> now I got my slingshot, and I want to send a marble over here to them. <laughs> but that might start a real war, so... <clears throat> what are they doing though? What is it so bad? Well, right here, this is like state manatee state park uh, territory. There's some dumb kids. They're, they're talking. I, can, I can't hear exactly what they're saying. But I got my headlight on them. We're going to have a, we're gonna have a war, a light war. <laughs> they might even not see us. They might just be looking for crickets in the dark. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're on a, a final stretch headed to uh, Anderson's boat lamp, landing or Anderson's camp, something like that. It's a 20 mile day. 
So either way, we have to make this 20 miles. It's a long day of paddling. Man, this is beautiful in here. We're on the last day, the last stretch of the river. Uh, probably six miles in right now. Another 14 to go. It sure is nice in here. I just saw a sturgeon jump. I didn't get my camera out in time. <laughs> I never do. Can't get one of those guys on camera for nothing. Chad was swimming last night and had one jump right next to him. <laughs> now that looked like fun. <laughs> wow. Huh. I'd like to try that. Jackson would like to try that. That's pretty cool. Got a long straightaway. There's Chad down there fishing. <laughs> He's a speed demon on that voodoo. <laughs> Plus he only has probably 15 pounds of gear. And he only weighs about 100 pounds, so... He's moving right along. <laughs> There's the famous Turkey Island. Maybe you could catch a Turkey Island bass. There's no land at all on Turkey Island. Pushing it. Got a headwind again. Right in the face. Oh. <laughs> Slow going. I think we're about five or six miles out, hopefully. Somewhere in there. Pretty cool though. The tree looks like it's bleeding. Something coming out of that. Huh. That's cool. Move it in a little bit. Harder and harder. So that's Swanee right there. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it is. Our pullout's somewhere in there. This had been an awesome trip. I was about to close the chapter on my third Swanee River trip, which completes the whole river. Each section had its own character and made memories that we would never forget. So over the last five days, we have paddled almost a hundred miles. And I'd have to say this last 20 was the hardest. No Boston Weller. <laughs> There's our first airboat. That's a lot of screen on that thing. Golly. 
Alright, there's Bill's fish camp. And my truck is parked over there somewhere. I think I see it. Wow. <laughs> this has been a long trip. It's kind of uh, crazy to think about all those miles we put on the river. Alright. Yeah, I see my truck. Way over there in front of that boat. So, should be a ramp down this way. We can take out. We'll be done. 